The controversial GOP-led redistricting plans are now law. Governor Bill Lee signed the bills yesterday. And News Channel 5's Kyle Horan, of course, has followed this process from the very start. And Kyle, I know state Democrats are not happy about this, and they are planning to go to court and fight it. Yeah, Rory and Vicky, it's because of the way that they're drawn. I know that the state Democratic Party plans to bring several lawsuits, and their biggest gripe is the way that this may affect the minority vote. The Democratic Party and the caucus, we are going to um, jointly do this, but uh, it'll probably come from some constituents who have to be the plaintiffs. Talks are underway for several lawsuits against the state, challenging the three redistricting maps just signed into law by Governor Bill Lee. The once in a decade process resulted in these three maps. The state House, Senate and congressional redistricting maps have received sharp criticism from Democrats in Tennessee. The state Democratic caucus plans to file lawsuits because of how the districts are split. It's going to be some racial gerrymandering that we're doing because these maps are illegal the way they drew them, especially on the state district side. On a congressional level, um, I would leave that more to the party, but it's still, it's still on being based on racial gerrymandering. The Democratic Party of Tennessee told us they've already met with state leaders to let them know they're planning to file suits as well. The congressional district splitting Nashville into three parts is one of their biggest complaints because of what it will do to the minority vote. One of the things that we've we've really honed in on is the way that the fifth congressional district, uh, the racial um, disparities that have been created because of the way the district has been split into three districts that favor more rural white uh, white uh, voters and an electorate uh, that really silences the voice of minority voters in, in Nashville and Davidson County. Hendrell Remus, chairman of the party, says their lawyers are still working on all of the language, but as soon as they can file, they will. The same can be said for the caucus. If it's not this week, next week. Okay. It should be done. It will be done. It will be done really soon. We reached out to the governor's office and the speaker of the house for comment about the lawsuits, but we haven't heard back yet. Reporting live, Kyle Horan, News Channel 5.